Hi, this is Dave from PlayStation Access, and I am here with Nathan. Hello. Nathan is on the controls of The Last of Us that multiplayer. Is a, that is a loose way of putting it, yeah. I mean, you're holding the controller. That's yes. That. I, don't, I don't feel in control of anything. No, and judging by the first two games, you're not really in control of anything. But, you know, this, this is going to be different. This one's going to be different. This time, this we won't need to re-record okay. this again. <laughs> this time, it's going to be great. Wait for the stats. <laughs> How shall I play this time? Because last time, I don't think... I, I mean, I've been trying to be reasonably stealthy. And that's how I played the single player. But maybe I should be more stealthy, more I'm cautious. Gonna, I'm going to disagree with you there. I don't you think you've been trying to, to be that I've been that trying, stealthy. that's what okay. I mean. But, um, but maybe, you, maybe I'll just... Because it's also hard to talk and think and play. It is, okay. So maybe you should just tell me what to do. I'll give you some impressions. Tell people. What I liked was when you said, there's a man behind you. And I was like, yeah, there is. And now I'm dead. Okay. So maybe say that earlier. Right. But also say more of those sorts of things. Okay. I'll Move try I'll try and be front. funny and interesting Move and yeah. informative. Move the good news is Mr. Vengeance is on my team this time. And last time he was really good. So I'm just going to hang around with him. And so is Geared for Foxhound, who had a real thing about killing you. So yeah, but we know that that's Dave Meeks from, uh, Dave Meeks from OPM. It is official indeed. PlayStation magazine. So I don't want to give him any credit. No. Now, already, Nath, I like this. I think you should follow Mr. Vengeance. Yeah. Here's, that's a, here's the game plan. Let's stick with this guy. Okay. Because um, from what we have learned from playing this a little bit, well, I say a little bit, two games so far, sticking together is key. Reviving yes. your teammates is key. I've seen, I've followed him even when he dropped down. And yeah, reviving is obviously because it saves you. There's 20, 20 tickets, and once they're gone, you know, you, that's it. Yeah, so it is ultimately a team deathmatch. Um, but as we said, it's, it's ticketed. You can see there's 20 tickets on each team at the moment. Um, and once they're gone, it's sudden death for the team who have lost uh, their tickets. Now, what's that there, Nate? That was listen mode, right? Yep. Which is uh, that's something from the single player where you can go, you move super stealthily and listen in. And because you can see people don't generally appear on the radar until they're Ooh, making, wow. making they're all, noise. Sorry. They're all there, though. They're so all again, there. I, I suggest get with Mr. Vengeance. Let's not go too, too no, guns we blazing. We should be in the same room as Mr. Vengeance, shouldn't I? Can I get out there? Can I use that cover? I think or am so. Am I going to be flanked there? Mr. Vengeance has got your back, and also the mate, the other team seem to be sticking together in front of you, so I suggest you can, you can go for it. That might be two balls out there. Oh, it's fine. He's re So there you go. There's an example. That guy was reviving his teammate. Me and Mr. Vengeance here getting stuck in. But whilst reviving is really important, there's a guy to your left. You are totally exposed. I am in trouble. You are completely exposed, and as we've said, with, with almost everything in this game, it is risk-reward. So there's a big reward for reviving your teammate. You don't lose a ticket, you've got your friend back, and he's right next to you to help you. But the risk is you could die, and that is ultimately no good. Me and Mr. Vengeance, this is happening. This is happening now. So you'll notice also that um, when you shoot people, they go down. They're not dead, so there is an opportunity to revive your teammate, as we've discussed, but you can execute them, taking away that opportunity. So again, it's the risk-reward. Do I, you know... That guy's not checked his surroundings. Now, you could also use that very much like a like a trap. You know, put a guy down and hope that someone comes and revives him. And um, Absolutely. Now, Nate, sticking with, with these guys is really, really working. It is, yeah. Really, really I want to craft something, though. Um, so crafting, that's from the single player. Um, doesn't look like I can craft anything. And it's come across into the, the multiplayer. Do you want to talk about it briefly? Yeah, so this is your menu. Different things. The things on the left here, which I'm running down, these are things you can craft. And then the things that highlight when you go onto them, binding, rag, alcohol, that, they're the things that you need to, to make each one. Currently, I don't have enough to make any individual thing. So basically, I've got to keep going. And you can collect the like ingredients that you need to bind these, to, to make these things um, within the level, right? From by killing people and by collecting on things from boxes and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, man, he executed him. Yes, that is true. Uh, I'm assuming there's someone on top of this truck, so I'm running away. So there's one of those little boxes next I know, to you. This, you is a, this is a danger. Again, it's the risk reward. Okay, stuff, stuff, stuff. Lots. Of, that was a, a nice lot of stuff. If I can. There's a bad guy. Uh, it's worth mentioning as well that the weapons are not. Oh, there's someone in the window. Okay. Curses. There's a man coming to kill you. Yeah. I've got loads of stuff. Please don't kill me. Okay. It looks like someone's taking the bullet for me there, and I'm just running away. Maybe try and get with authentic replica. Might be a shout. Um, I'm just gonna hunker down. Right, okay. I still can't make anything. Oh, I can make a pipe bomb. No, like a, a nail bomb. That is made. The crafting on this is quick. So you can use. Okay, so you don't just craft weapons. You could craft uh, yeah. craft medikits and stuff like that as well. Uh, yeah, I would love a medikit. Otherwise, I'm assuming my health is just slowly 
depleting every time I get hit, even if, when I escape. And so there are choices in the way you play, like like I sort of just outlined there. You could craft a medikit to make yourself better. You could craft something more offensive. You could craft yeah. something defensive. Yeah, absolutely. There are also um, perks and things like that that you can uh, customize your character with. So there's a lot of um, choices in the way that you outfit your your guy uh, and the way so he wants to out. play. So hopefully now, I've just done this, now if I go back to the main menu, I press R so I and I can heal myself. So now I'm back up to full health. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. And uh, unlike the single player, I should point out that the listening mode is um, rationed rationed in multiplayer. So it's that grey semicircle. And actually, it's weird because you get I got excited. Just, uh, can I reach him in time? The guy Do is I still there. To? The guy is still there. Right in front of you now, I think. Or to the right. Well, that looks evil, whatever that is you're about to throw. That looks properly nasty. Well, I sort of missed him because he was on the stairs, but... He is dead. There is a man behind you, but I think someone might have your back. Um. That guy doesn't have your back, like I thought. Crot shots. Oh, oh, look at that guy, authentic replica. Ay, ay, ay. My fault. I went in for the. All right. Well, he might be. Nice a, he things. might be able to save you here if he would get out the window. Come on, somebody. Come on, Mr. Vengeance. Yeah, he knows how to play this game. I think he was trying to execute. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna steal that guy's gun. Well, this has been a very impressive uh, display so far. Yeah. And I think yeah, the difference has. has been sticking together really makes a big difference. It does, doesn't it? I know. I agree. Um, like me and Mr. Vengeance right here. And is this level um, one of the areas from the single player? Um, do you know? It probably is, but. The other ones we've played so far have been, haven't they? So I think yes. it is. Um, I got you. I've decided to do this. That was a bad, a bad choice. It looks like I'm. I still think it was a bad choice. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Well, Mr. But I've earned Mr. Vengeance's respect <laughs> as I <laughs> crawled behind a rock to die. <laughs> I doubt it very much. No, Mr. Oh, authentic replica. replica. Again, he's he's done this. What you're saying about bait, you know, it does it just puts a little doubt in your mind. You're like, should I, should I help my guys? Yeah. And then suddenly, because it doesn't take a lot to be killed. As we said, I think you know, this is the third ever game of uh, the Last of Us multiplayer in the in the real world. I think people are going to be able to to find some really really interesting tactics of their own that they can make work, like using using a, a guy as bait and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think no, it's going to be incredibly incredibly deep. Uh, and if you can get a group of people together on you know headsets or something just with an understanding and maybe people you know someone's in charge of of making explosives or someone's just in charge of collecting someone ingredients just needs to, be in to charge. make lots of things yeah, yeah right. someone needs to be in charge that's right it, for instance you know here Mr. Vengeance is in charge he doesn't know it but, um, <laughs> he's just going to follow him like a loyal dog hey like what? a there's really nothing wrong with that man's like best friend like a killer dog get out can't craft anything See, that guy made a bad a bad choice. There is another bad man. There's the bad man. Oh. He's going to come and get you. Have you got anything? Uh, oh, this could be. This could work well. This could work well. I need to get rid of these guys. That's my... Oh, oh goodbye. Goodness. I'm not getting used to that. You know, that is horrendous. It is horrendous. And brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Horrendously good. That's worked out, though, for me, I mean... I'm pretty low on health. Uh, okay. So um, the ticket system as well, we should explain, because you haven't really died that much, Nathan. I don't think I've, I've mentioned I it think yet. I've died once. That you don't instant respawn. It's based on uh, waves. So yeah. if you, I'm not sure how long a, a wave lasts, but um, you come back in waves. So you can see now the other team have one ticket left, and then they're going to enter sudden death, where they could still feasibly win if one man can stay alive and, and kill them all. But given how easy it is to stay alive when there's more than one of you around, you know, it seems very unlikely. It does. That just popped out a little medipack for me. That's nice. That'll do nicely. It's exactly what you needed. So w also the other cool thing is, because going into this big craft menu does take quite a bit. Stop, stop talking. Shoot. Nice. Um, behind, behind. Look out, yeah. There he is. Okay, got it. Do you remember not healing me in the last game? <laughs> <laughs> what? I do. Um, yeah, you can actually, on the shortcut on the D-pad, when you're just selecting stuff, there's a little uh, 
like a, a, a spanner symbol appears next to them when they are craftable. So you can sort of see at one okay, look, it down. automatically tells you what you can and can't make. I can see there's a spanner on your HUD as well now, which I wonder if, if that just means there are things that are available to make. Yeah. Oh, so I like, the that. I like the listening mode a lot. I like that you have to ration it. Mm. So you know where those guys are vaguely now. And wow. See, they did all the right things there, but they're dead anyway. I think, uh, oh dear, you should you've not, not have really done all the right things. I thought he was, to be honest, I thought he was down. And look, there's a man there. <gasps> oh, that that's was lovely. beautiful that from Mr. Lovely. Vengeance. So last enemy left, hunt them down. I'm going to run around. Well, there's really no, yeah, no point in not now. Your team have got eight tickets. Like I said, he could still win the day, which I like. I like that they're still a You'd chance. You'd have to be but, uh, a quite extraordinary player. But you know one day you'll see it. There you go. Not today, though. Not today. So, so I don't want to. Fourteen. I don't want to big you up too much. You've. I downed a lot of Basically people. been the best player there. That is. I'm going to say that's unusual, but this is also the one we're definitely putting live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Our work here is done. But still. I don't know if this is going to be like a theme. It doesn't seem like we've got enough resources to keep our population healthy. But maybe that's because it's the apocalypse and that's you're never going to do that. Yeah, don't worry about that. You let Mr. Mr. Vengeance worry about that, Lord <laughs> <Okay>. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There is a look at the Last of Us. Uh, Last yeah. of Us. The Last of Us multiplayer factions. Playing teams. Scavenge. We're definitely playing teams. If not in all careful. teams, pick a buddy. Yeah. Scavenge, the revive. Buddy, the buddy system is important. And learn your risk reward. Sometimes it's not worth the risk. Yeah, be cautious. Be careful out there, folks. Yeah. And most of all, enjoy yourself.